Good morning, guys, on day 23 on the Appalachian Trail. Today's the day. Today, we have a race to the finish line. We're leaving the Smokies, and I need to get to Standing Bear before the masses. About 30 people stay at the albergue, I mean the shelter, last night. And, uh, you know, I don't think there's enough room at the Standing Bear for everybody. So today's the day. It's also the longest day for me so far at 18 miles, but at least it's downhill. It is uh, 47 degrees right now and there's like a 30% chance of rain so I have my poncho ready to go. Last night I got to sleep on the floor, well you know on my sleeping pad and everything but I was there in the center with another guy and uh, there was a, not a ranger but one of those uh, runners, the ones that check your permit and they checked all of our permits just before we leave the Smokies today and uh, yeah. The sun is about to come out pretty soon over those mountains, you know, through those clouds. Today we have like a fire tower, so we got a few things along the way to uh, check out. I've been walking inside a cloud pretty much for the last uh, hour, I would say, with a few sprinkles here and there, but not enough to take out the poncho. So it's one of those days. At least I've been on my own the whole time. I know there's a few people ahead of me, the ones that woke up at 6 p.m., 6 a.m. sharp. I got up like at 6.30 because I was waiting for at least to have some light. I don't have a headlamp. I have a, an LED light, which I use in my tent. But when I'm in a shelter, you know, I don't want to bother other people. So what does the profile look like today? The profile looks very favorable today. This is the shelter where we stay yesterday, Tri-Corner Knob Shelter. Standing Bear is all the way down here, which I can't click because, you know, it would activate that button. This is uh, today's stage. As you can see, we're pretty much making our way down, going from about 6,000 uh, feet of elevation to less than 1,000. So we're about to lose 5,000 feet in one day. But it's downhill, and downhill, I love those kind of days. Also, by the way, before I forget, we got a, uh, where is it, over here. We got this beautiful tower that we might get some amazing views if it's not raining, if it's not cloudy like it is right now. But uh, that is something that, uh, that I'm looking forward to. So this is uh, the shelter where the incident happened a couple of days ago. I was supposed to stay here, let's say today, and then tomorrow I get to Standing Bear. But uh, as it turns out, not gonna happen, I have to continue on. By the way, from the shelter where I stay up to this point, no water sources at all. I have a little bit of water and there's a stream up ahead where I'm gonna resupply, drink a ton of water before climbing onto uh, the tower. Climbing to the tower is gonna be like the, you know, the toughest section of the day, you might say, the toughest uh, climb, but it's really not nothing. It's been a race. As I mentioned before, I've seen uh, two hikers actually running down the path. I guess they're trying to get ahead of everybody else to get a spot at Standing Bear. I was just talking to a hiker right now that just passed me that, you know, I'm not going to get into the whole race to get a bunk bed. 
kind of reminds me of the Camino de Santiago. So worst case scenario, I get there and there's nothing, which I highly doubt it, but let's say there's nothing. I just uh, resupply, buy a few things, recharge uh, my electronics, which I couldn't do last night, uh, not top them all off because, you know, the situation where I was sleeping on the ground there, I didn't want to have all the lights of all my devices blinking. So I only charge them until sundown. So yeah, I will recharge the electronics and continue on to either a stealth site or there's actually a tent spot about two miles away. But that will make today over a 20 mile day, which if I do it, <laughs> it will be very interesting <laughs> because that's kind of like the mileage that, uh, that people start pulling off later on in the trip. I have done 26 miles before. Not in this kind of terrain, and it's not fun. Not fun for your body at all. But you know, sometimes you gotta. Good news and bad news. Let's start with the bad news first. When I got to uh, the sign that uh, points towards the, the fire tower, it started raining. The gusts of winds got a little bit strong. And I also realized that it's not actually on the AT. It's like a blue blazer. So it's kind of like a detour. And it's almost uh, a little over half a mile. So on an 18 plus, mile day i don't want to add extra <laughs> and also since i had to put the poncho on nah decided to continue on the good news is that from now it's all downhill now is when we're gonna lose most of the elevation that we have gained over the last uh, week or so it's 11 45 and i'm dying to have lunch it's been drizzling all day just just a little bit you know it's at that point where it's not enough to put your poncho on but you're still getting a little bit wet but uh, up there it crossed that line <laughs> at least for like five minutes so I got to pull out the poncho for like the second time on the trip not complaining though So you see that shelter down there? That's Davenport Gap Shelter. The last shelter in the Smoky Mountains. It is at 1.15 right now. I was expecting to see more hikers down there, but there's nobody. And that only means that I'm, what, like 3.5 uh, miles away from Standing Bear where I'm staying today. So I think I uh, should be there around 3 p.m., which is good time to arrive <laughs> to the hostel you know if I were to arrive at 6 p.m. then the chances of me finding a spot to sleep would be uh, little to none so yeah I guess this is the last push out of the smoky for the day I gotta drop off my uh, smoky permit at some point down the line and I will be done with this uh, magical place really liked it digging the smokies We'll definitely come back one day and uh, visit. <laughs> what a way to end the Smokies. Uh, dropped off my uh, permit and then it was just walking by this river, by the stream with waterfalls. Got to cross over a log. I mean, it's just beautiful. Now I'm on the road and look behind me. Got a river that I'm crossing. 
both sides and I'm making my way to a standing bear farm where I know there's a bunk bed waiting for me there. <laughs> Recognize this place. So made it to Standing Bear Farm like around 3 p.m. under the rain after walking through that beautiful uh, stream and the uh, waterfalls. It was just amazing just how the Smokies ended. So, you know, it started pouring rain. I took out the poncho, made it here really quickly. Check out the stats for today, man. That's the longest day so far. So I went, I instead of getting like a bunk bed, I went into uh, an area where it's just like the everybody goes there it's an open space so you know we're like right now like six or seven i got like the top bunk just improvised it and i uh, just waited for the rain to stop before taking a shower i'm not doing laundry because it's like seven bucks for just one set then i resupply for a couple of days and i got a beer and a pizza that was my lunch slash dinner because i didn't have lunch today and right now I'm just, you know, hanging out here. This is a very peculiar and cool place. A lot of, uh, if you know what I mean. So, that's it for today, guys. It was a very proper way to end the Smokies on a high note. I had amazing weather all throughout. So just getting a little bit of rain at the end is not too bad. Two days to make it to two or three days to make it to hot springs. Let's see how it turns out. Tomorrow is going to be the toughest days because we had to climb about 2,000 uh, feet of elevation right off the bat. And then we're going to hang up there and then at the end come back down. So I could do it in two or do it in three and do like a narrow into uh, hot springs because I don't want to take a day off there. It's just too soon. Uh, my next. Uh, Zero might be in Irwin, which is also coming up ahead. So guys, thank you so much. Thank you to all the Trail Angels, to my subscribers, to my channel members for your support. And I guess I'll see you all tomorrow morning.